South Carolina will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Throws left, picked off. Got some open field to the 20. He scores. What a play. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay of game, game. Offense. Possibly some miscommunication there. They down. can't get the playoff, and it'll cost them a few. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Hey, check, check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. Down. Two, seven. Oh. Lost the ball. Fumble. They fall on it. That's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? South Carolina is up seven. And they'll get him in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 23-yard line, second down. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. South Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Check, check 
Cavalry's coming. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Tackle made at the 38. Got it. Tight ends got the first. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He gets sacked on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's punished. That'll make it fourth and ten. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Quick throw to the tight end, and down he goes at the 36. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. Dog four. Or and he is drilled at the 45. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 12, Mike 12. Dog four. They go. Has some daylight. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He makes his way to about the 32. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 24. Number 34 makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of five on one play. That makes it first and ten. From the 19-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 20. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Here we go, here we go. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're crowding the line. Three, two, three, nine. 
They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. So at the end of one, the Gamecocks in front, 10-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Four down, four down. Check back 12. Red two. Fires quickly to the tight end. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Makes it to the 34. Down and he's going to get sacked. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 27 yard line. Third down. Slings it. And he's level at the 32 yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 29. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and seven. Ball on the 32. Green nine, green nine. Orange three. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it 31. Kill, kill, kill! Fires to the wideout. First down. Number 27 with the tackle. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Mike 12. Mike 12. Quick strike and he drops it. Number 23 was the intended receiver. That makes it second and 10. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Third down again. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. 
Check, check. Dancer, dancer. And they make the stop around the 47 yard line. Completes it across the middle. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Taken down at the 36-yard line. Take your time and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. And they push him out at the 37. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a five wide set. And he's hit immediately. And he's tackled at the 49. That's a deal of 12 on the back. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Red two, go! Got a man, watch out here. Tackle right around the 40. Number 24 brings him down at the 40-yard line. Third down. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Red two. Off play action. Now he's on the move. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 16. Just throws this one away. It's the 11th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Red two. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here.
It's up, and it is good. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. South Carolina is in front by 20. and David welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half excellent kick and they can forget about returning this one so they're just about set to get the game going again gets to about the 27 yard line From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. They'll drop in for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 42. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Here's a handoff, left side. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He throws a dart to the right. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. throw out to the receiver and down he goes at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike 12. Let's go D. He's to the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 47. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Come on, dude. From their own 47 yard line, it's first down. Watch 14, watch 14. Check back 12. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. On the ground with the tailback. There's a fumble picked up by the defense. He lost the ball, and the offense picks it up. He makes it on to maybe the 49-yard line. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Gets it out, he's met immediately. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. Snags that one. Touchdown, Tigers! And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina's shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. And if they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. South Carolina with a six-point lead. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Black ball. He's tackled at the 40. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check Mike 12. Mike 12. Mike 12. Mike 12. Mike 12. Watch the run. Watch the run. Red. Red. A one-yard gain by the halfback. It's second and nine. Ball on the 41-yard line. Four down, four down. Twelve's the fight. Red two. Blue four. Blue four. Go, go. Throws this one out to the right. And he got it for the 20. And he shoved out of bounds right around the six-yard line. In a few yards. That makes it first and goal. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Brought down after a nice 
run up the middle. South Carolina is up by six. Touchdown, South Carolina! And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Clemson's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I, I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of their game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing that game plan, and it's helping them out. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. You know, when this defense went over the sidelines based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in his face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Tackled after a decent pickup. So at the end of three, South Carolina in front, 27-14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Drill at the 34. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two possession lead. They better pick it up because this game is a long way from being over. And they got him for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it. Holes will start to open up. Second and 14. Ball on the 38. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike. They'll bring him down, around the 40-yard line. Lost of two, two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Watch one, watch one. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Throws a strike over the middle. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Roger, Roger. Check three, check three. He's going to try and scramble. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. Fakes to the back. Brought down the 39-yard line. That's cutting it really close. But they converted on that run by an eyelash. 
from their own 39-yard line. First down, less than three minutes in the game. And he's taken down at about the 41. The running back gets two on the carry. run up the middle. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. They'll line it up again on third down. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it. Here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it to the 37. Gain of eight on the play. First down. From the 37 yard line. First down. And two. Orange three. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Red two. Tackle at about the 37 yard line. This one's in the books. The Gamecocks come out on top, 27-14. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.